off we go. Right, good morning all. Um, today is the, um, the 2nd of September already. Gosh. Um, and we've got a, an extra people in here today. There's um, Philip and Nigel, plus Alan and Terry in the house, and Janet hopefully will come later. And there's Richard and Elaine and Diana and Stan. So quite a lot of people to look after today. <laughs> And I was saying that we had, we looked at smartphones last time. We had a look at how to do various things. But I'm going to not do any more on that today. Um, I'm going to move on to something else. But, but before that, we did a thing called posing tools, did we not? Yes, mm -hmm. we did. Uh, I've still got some tools that I, I, I've come across fairly recently. So I thought I might show you those, what I discovered. If I can just share the right bit. Uh, that one, he said. Is that the right one? Why isn't it full screen? All right. Can you see that? Yes, indeed. This is Fast Stone Viewer. And you've, you've seen all these pictures before, but you haven't seen these at the bottom here. So if I do that, you should see a full screen. Wow. Of some lovely trowels. These were being given away last Saturday at the Harnham. Um, Harvest table. Harvest table. And I don't think anyone took them, did they? Yes. They did. Yeah. <laughs> did they say, why shouldn't yes, they? In the end, somebody took a couple, and in the end, somebody took what was left for a school garden. Ah. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? They're very pretty, aren't they? Yes. And the, the, notice that I've got another photograph here. Look at the difference. This is taken on a smartphone using one of the smartphone facilities to blur the background. And I think it was the food. Thing. I discovered that the food one does this vignetting of focus, which I thought was interesting. So that's, I haven't processed them at all. That's just as they were. Thought you might like to see those, but here are the other ones that I did before, which you've seen already, I think. And this background I've got there of oh, the front drive isn't really the best thing. Um, those are sort of decorating tools, and those are woodworking tools, uh, and there are measuring tools and more measuring tools and spanners, whatever, more spanners and clamps and planes. Yes, planes, both planes, aren't they? Slope shaves. Slope shaves. And, uh, and a, a different sort of, sh uh, what's this thing in the middle there? Block plane. No, it's no, 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 it's, no, it's for cutting grooves. Grooves, yeah. Repainter. Repainter, yeah, probably. Uh, and then there's, there's three planes here, a jack plane, a, whatever you call it, ball nut, and, and an ordinary, ordinary plane, yes. And so they are sideways as well. And then there's a shears, a cutting sheep, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> there is this again, and again, and again. And uh, an edge edger, and a dibber. Are those for tank with your smartphone, Peter, or are they? Um, I can't remember. Oh, we can find out, can't we? We yeah, just can look at the. Except the this is in the way. I'll just shrink that a bit. A bit. What does it say there? Uh, oh, it says it says IA twenty one. So it is on the smartphone. Pretty good, isn't it, for a smartphone photo? Right. Okay. So that was what we did. Do you, any of you have any more tools to show while we're here? I have got some. If you want some. Yes, please. Not very inspiring, but I have got some. Well, that's all right. Let's see what you've got. I'm trying to share a screen. You got yours up there. Oh, sorry. Yes, I missed up that. I showed my tools last time. Yes, indeed. I have to, I have to move sideways to get into the picture. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. I've... We've got your. Um, um, you can't see that, or can you? Yes, I can yes, see a lot of. What are they? Blue handles? Yes. Well, blue, yeah, screwdrivers, files, you name it. But I've somehow I've lost control of what I'm doing. <laughs> it's old age, you know, to, uh, Richard. <laughs> yeah, it's gone on the second screen for some reason or other. Lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> second screen. Showing you. Uh, that's the wrong way up. But there again, I can't get the control, so I can't put it the right way up. Right. <laughs> I think you might have put them in for something else better. 
have them in an interesting pattern. Well, yes, that's what I tried to do. But the holder is a pattern is a pattern in itself, if you know what I mean. Well, why, yes. why does he need so many Allen keys? Um, yeah, no. well, the, the, well there's, there's only one of any size. They're all, they're all different sizes. One metric and the other will be... You know, no, they're all different sizes. Yeah. 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 yeah, well, one's metric, the other's... Um, oh, we'll turn down there, real. yes. Mm. Oh, I see. Right, OK, well, I'll let you off. <laughs> and you get another set of... Um, Blue handles, that's the answer, isn't it? Hexagonal. Mm. OK. You can have files as well if you want to. Is there no end to your um, um, tool set? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. You haven't seen the tool set, have you? I don't think I actually took a picture of that. Oh, I thought this was a set of tools. Uh, no, that's the set of tools. That's ah. all of them there in the rack. I see. Keep us. Ah, interesting. They, they, they all pack away nice and tidily, and they're on the kitchen draining board or sort of thing, up by the side of the sink, anyway. So I know exactly where to find everything. And that's got almost every type of screwdriver and file and all sorts in there. OK, Richard, that's yeah. very good. Very, we're yeah, impressed by very, all that, apparently. Uh, oh, yeah, nuts. That's nut spanners. Nut spinner set. Oh, that explains yeah, that's, that's the last one. <laughs> right, OK. Now you've got to try and stop sharing. Well, that's, that's usually quite easy. See yeah, that's what I thought, but the... Elena's vanished. I expect she's still listening to us. Right. Anybody else got any more tools to show me? I've got one on my phone. Have you? I don't know if you can put oh, that up there. We can try. That's just my garage wall. Oh, gosh. Um, this will uh, get it. It's probably quite bright, isn't it? It is a bit bright, isn't it? Um, I don't know what we can do. Yes. This is the tools. Very in, organized. In, um, Philip's garage, apparently. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I keep turning it. It's very strange holding it to a camera. It seems to be going in all in the wrong direction. Anyway, that's what we've got there. Quite a good set there, isn't it? Beautifully arranged. I don't know, look at my garage. <laughs> right, now, um, anything else we can say on, on tools? Do we want to show any more later on? I mean, some of you haven't produced any yet. I guess I did mine the last time, including Elaine. She's <laughs> she's been busy. Elaine's been away. Oh yes, where would you? Where did you go, Elaine? She's muted. Yeah, sorry, I took the video off because I was having breakfast. Um, I've been to the Silly Isles. I've been to Scoma, been to Anglesey, and I've got a gazillion photos that um, I need to look at now. And a talk to write for Monday, actually. My group's this Monday and I haven't written the talk yet. <laughs> I can't come anyway, Elaine, because I'm away on holiday that day. Oh, how lovely. Where are you going? To Lincolnshire. So we'll see what... No. Very good. I haven't got a link for your um, next one. No, up. I've just remembered this morning, seeing you all, that I haven't sent it to you. <laughs> I should be able to attend Monday afternoon. I'll well, send it after this. Thank you. I can I can never attend because it's in the middle of the night. I know, but I sent you the link for the recording though, don't I? No. Oh, I must put you back on the on the circulation list. Yeah, that'd be good. Sorry, Dan. That's all right. But we've we've had a break for two months because basically I'd had enough. <laughs> you deserve a rest. I've got some very happy helpers helping me, but I didn't know because I'd forgotten what the homework was for this. But have you done the ones where you're showing the pictures on your smartphones? Will that be next yeah. week? No, no I, I did. Um, but you've done that I, already. I prepared something to, okay. today for that. Because I just I discovered um, my smart my new smartphone has some amazing things on it. Um, but I'm obviously not ready to show to you guys today. That business about blurring the background, it's mm -hmm. amazing. It's portrait mode. And then when it you is. take the picture, then you can adjust how much the blurring is. That's right. Mm. Very clever. I gave, I gave a talk on smartphones last time. Oh, I missed it. Sorry, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> I can send it to you. <laughs> yeah, do send me a link. That would be great. Um, All right. Because I found out by sort of trial and error what this thing can do, and it's amazing. And is it nice? I, say, is it... I, I took photos with this on the Silly Isles, and I left my Fuji in the bag. 
That's the end so of it. So is it an iPhone? No, it's the Android S Galaxy S22. So I've been in Queensland for a few weeks and I took my, I've got three cameras on mine. I uh, took my iPhone and oh. I didn't take a camera. I it, never it was, thought I'd say that. No. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Uh, Elaine, why not look at the video that I produced for YouTube for last last um, practical photography? Well, I would, except I've lost the email. <sighs> well, um, right. Well, if you look at my, if, if you know my YouTube address, you can get to it that way. Okay. Do you know? Right. I'll try. <laughs> I can always send it. Because I'd completely forgotten what the homework was for today, because I've missed out on about three months, I think. I'm sorry, I'm in bad books. I've forgotten as well. I've no idea what it was. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, yes, it was just to take photographs with your smartphone. Yes. Right. I've used my iPhone 12 and it doesn't do any of those things. It just takes pictures and that's the end of it. <laughs> oh, no, I expect you can do things. You can use an external, what's it, can't you? A, 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 the the, the programme called, um, what's it called, Other Camera? Come on, it's gone, huh? yes, yes, it is. And I tried that, but I couldn't get on with it. I should have told my daughter into buying me a better phone because it's her ex one. I always have her old one. She must be due <laughs> for a change shortly. Called other camera. Yeah, well, that you can use instead of the camera built into your phone. Yes, true. And you can do all manner of things with that. So I suggest you get used to it rather than you get... Can... You can ed edit your photos as well on the phones. Yes, well, I'm, I'm talking about the actual taking stage, you see. Yes. OK, <laughs> I jumped ahead there. Yeah, well, but this other, this thing called, well, oh, I keep forgetting its name. Um, oh, called, called, hold on. Open camera, that's it. Open camera. Um, um, and that does, does everything. You don't need the, uh, can, the application that's in your phone already. So, right. What does it work on, though, Peter? Does well, it work on all of them? It works on everything, yes. That's a very pretty picture. Who's that young lady there? Yeah, well, that's me. Is it? Hang on. And I'm just going to show you. This is a for portrait mode. Right. And I don't know if that's... Hang on. Can oh. you see how that's blurred the background? Yes, yes, yes that's right, yes. Yeah. And you can do that in post-process. You just tap this button... Nothing bring it down and it'll bring it back. Yes, it worked beautifully. Yeah. But you have to touch it on portrait mode. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, the thing I is, did that because we kayaked underneath that particular headland two well, days before and the waves were crashing over the rocks. Well, I, I found that the food mode, which is on the A21S, the one before yours, the food mode uh, does a very similar thing. And I just wonder what oh, okay. the portrait mode and the food mode is. I haven't really investigated that. Well, no. that's just portrait mode. Well, then, well, just food mode does very similar. What, what is the difference is what I'm asking. I don't know. So we'll look at that later. Moving on then to my my uh, new ridiculous concept. I'm going to show any more homework from last time, Peter. Oh, homework from last time. Oh, do apologise. Yes, I've got some... Uh, Terry's given me some uh, stuff. Not, not very good, but... Um... And uh, so if I um, share screen with with that, that's on here. Oh. Oh, there we go. I, I tried three different, uh, four different ways of taking photographs. I've got a very old smartphone, which has got very few capabilities on it. You can't change aperture or anything like that. Um, but I put on open camera that Peter has used. Um, I also put on camera FB5 Lite which I find even better than open camera. But I've also put Lightroom on there. And uh, I've taken photographs using Lightroom, some of them. I can't remember which ones I'm showing today that have taken Lightroom. But I had a problem because I couldn't figure out how to get them out of Lightroom. And you've got to do exactly the same as you do on um, your PC. You've got to export them to get them out of Lightroom so that you can get them into your gallery or pictures or whatever on your phone. Um, so the, the pictures that Peter is going to show here are just a series of me pointing and shooting my camera and or my phone and trying to get a reasonable shot. None of them have been put through any post-processing whatsoever. 
they're straight out of the um, uh, six-year-old smartphone. <laughs> That's pretty Terry, good. did you use um, the video for this as well? Um, I did use video, but I haven't put um, video on to any of these shots. Um, when we get, this was taken at Wessex Country Fair at um, Wilton. Um, there were um, a load of groups on, and one of the groups I saw was, um, I can't remember what they are, the Navy Larks. And um, I took some videos of that, and I was quite impressed with um, how the video actually came out on the um, smartphone. It actually, some of the, um, the way it looked at the lighting was better than by taking just a pure photograph. Yeah. Right. I'll move on to the next picture. By the way, Pat, what, what was the, you used open camera. What was the other thing apart from Lightroom? Um, camera FV5 Lite, which is, I don't know whether that works for iOS, um, but it's certainly for Android. I'll write that down, F. Camera FV5 Lite, and it's a free one. I think I put that on once before. Um, yes, is that for post processing? Um, you can do some post processing, and yes, oh, but it does pro processing when you take. You can take use it as a you your can use it, Yes, and then you can you can play with them as well. I I um I did play with some of mine in Lightroom to see what effects I could get. It's not obviously it's not as good as um, Lightroom on the PC, but you do have some controls, and I haven't tried playing with RAW on the phone either right okay um oh by the way have you got a roar on your uh, new phone elaine i don't know i'll look why isn't it moving on um where are we that's that's a video one isn't it? no try, try to get uh, this thing to move forwards um try that oh that worked yes for some reason, it, it makes the picture smaller. So if I shrink that. No, it's, it's turned it vertically, isn't it? Well, yes, that's the way. The way yeah, I, but that one, no, I did take that one in the opposite mode. So I'm, I'm, using, I'm using Irfan view here, not uh, not Firestone viewer. Can you, on your phone, can you correct horizon? Because that's not a level. Uh, yes, I didn't do that. As I said, I didn't do any post-processing. Uh, Yes, you're quite right. It does need some, just a tweak, doesn't it? I don't know how you can oh, rotate, but this is sort of all. Um, all I don't know if you can straighten the horizons. You can rotate, which goes around 90 degrees at a time. I can, I, I can straighten horizons on my Android. OK, I'll need to look into that. Yeah. On, on open camera, if you tilt, to twist your camera, it will automatically correct it in the photograph if okay. you set it up, which is really clever of it. Right, if I can move on to the next one. So these are these are all taken with us. Again, you've got a tilt to the right. Yes, that, that probably me. <laughs> I know that Sheila always had a tilt to the left when she took yeah. photographs, always. You couldn't get to, to get it correct. I took that one because I actually like the gulls sitting in <laughs> In yeah. the water in front of me with the boats behind. Yeah, yeah. That's very good. Does anybody watch on the television in the afternoon escape to the country? Don't I, yes, I, I do. We get it here. It will be because, particularly when they go to Norfolk and have sea views, the horizons are always crooked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's so frustrating looking at it. As you can see, most of these have been taken at Swanage. Well, well I couldn't tell that from there. Oh, okay. Think. Um, and that's not and one. that's one I took in my garden, and I actually used flash on that. You can probably see from the hedgehog's eyes. Oops. I don't know how to work this thing. I see. Got to use the slides of things. So they are I think, I, right. Very good. Um, next one. Oh, now this this again was taken at um, Wessex Country Fair, and it was very very bright. Um, and when I when I put that through um, Lightroom um, out of the, the phone, um, I could pick up the, I could use the controls in Lightroom to change the lightness, darkness, so that I could pick up on the faces a bit better. But um, even so, it's still very, very bright. But that's straight out of camera, right. out of phone. You can still see detail in the background. Yes. Strangely. Right. 
And this one's similar, is it? And that one's similar. I think I, was, um, I used a bit of Zoom. Um, I don't have optical Zoom on this particular phone, um, so I had to use digital Zoom. Not many people have optical Zoom anyway, do they? Um, quite a few, actually. The modern ones do. I don't. They only go up to about three, though, I think, unless you buy a really expensive phone. Well, that's the end that's of that. I am. So I think Ela that's Elaine, do you have optical zoom with your new phone? Um, I'm thinking it, it, it does, but what it does is um, is it changes lens. So there's three lenses. Oh yes, one's oh, ultra wide, wide and telephoto, and um, so it will change to that particular lens in order to give you the feeling that you're creating a a zoom. So you can, if you're taking a picture. You can, you know, you can ex increase the size to make it to apparently be zooming in. I think what it's doing is it's swapping from the ultra wide to the telephoto lens. Yes, of course. Yes. Of course. And and the reason that I mean, you can't change aperture in a phone because they're fixed aperture lenses. But the, it gives you the impression of doing so because in mine the ultra wide is a one point eight and the telephoto is a two point four or something like that. <laughs> um, but that's why I've phone pictures always. Have that great depth of field. Uh, open camera has got a facility for changing the aperture and the ISO. As it, you... it, it doesn't actually do it. What it does is it sort of fudges it by changing the ISO and the shutter speed. I'm sure you're right. Yes, <laughs> but they're fixed. They're fixed aperture lenses. It will swap from one to the other, which yeah. will give a little variation. Okay. Is anyone having trouble with the sound? No, oh, I'm all right now, and I haven't lost you for a while. Because I, I can't hear it at the moment. It seems to be all muffled. We well, are rather a long way away. <laughs> so I'm in Australia. Yeah, Queensland. <laughs> yeah, Queensland. Queensland. is straight wet. No, this is in Canberra. Oh, where are you at the moment? Uh, 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 Pardon? Where are you at the present? I'm home. Oh, right. You're back in Canberra, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got back. About a day ago. All right. Oh, well, did you have a satisfactory dinosaur walk or whatever trail? Yeah, yeah, it was really, really good. Hmm. Did you find any footprints? Yeah, yeah. I've put a few footprints together, actually, if you want to see them. Oh, yes, yes, you like that. Where, where was this that you were? Outback Queensland. <coughs> like, really outback. <laughs> Sort of as place far out as Ayers Rock? Uh, well, I was there a few weeks ago at Ayers Rock. It's called Oola Roo now. Yeah, I know, sorry. I must. Have you yeah, got I a think... dinosaur park in where you live anyway? Pardon? Have you not got a dinosaur park where you live? But not really. They're, all, they're just finding. <laughs> um, fossils in Queensland they're digging them up farmers are finding them in their fit in their paddocks no, I was just I went when I was out in Australia last time I went to a, 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 the flower show and a dinosaur park and the fire brigade place I don't know what you call in, that in Canberra yes indeed yeah yeah I know what you're talking about it's there is a dinosaur thing in Canberra, but it's 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 all model not, ones, but at least you can go and play on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sometimes go there with my grandchildren, but <laughs> I'm a bit big for them now. Yeah, I, I like I like the so real I. thing. I like the real thing up in Queensland. Yes, well done, well done. <clears throat> but did you say you're going to show us something? I've got loads, <laughs> but so uh, you might not want to see them all and. In our camera club here, we call them record shots. Yes, of course. No, okay. But uh, I try to not make them record shots. Can you come um, into a few of them? Yeah, you can tell me when you're fed up with them. <laughs> okay. So you... Go on. So that is uh, typical of the landscape. You Next. don't see too many people out there. No, nor many. That, that's typical of a pub, which this little community, Aramanga, has got 30 people living in it. 
They've got this royal hotel, yes. <laughs> but that's, that's the pub. Oh, no. <laughs> that was in the same place. And there's a lot of sculptures of um, dinosaurs. So this was, um, so if you look at that picture, what they do when they find something, a, a fossil, they protect it with plaster of Paris. Right. And seal it. they seal it up, basically. And until they're ready to look at it. And this was um, a very big dinosaur, Cooper. Cooper. How do they get the plaster of Paris off when they want to look at it? Uh, they have to cut, cut it off. <clears throat> there isn't anything else to dissolve it or something like that, I guess. No, they, they, that, that previous one was still in, it's still got its casing around it. Yeah, it just struck me. You'd be, Chipping that off, you'd be almost damaging the bone at the same time. Yeah, they're very careful. <laughs> and they spent, the volunteers spent hours and hours uh, preparing fossils there. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is called a wool press. It compresses the wool on, from sheep to send in bales to wow. go it. to other places. That's hand operated, I guess. Yeah, it's. it's it's as if they probably modernised it nowadays. A huge ratchet, isn't it? Yes. So that's one of my favourite trees. It's a boab tree and it looks like a bottle. Oh. Yeah. We don't get them in Canberra. Is it a baobab? Yes. It's, yeah. Very similar. Not a boab, a baobab. No, it's called a boab. <laughs> baobab is African. Yeah, I know that. So I just want well, to. It might, it might be African for all I know. I don't know that I've seen, I haven't seen them in Africa though. Neither have uh, I seen the So this guy was near the Shearers strike um, area. So a long time ago, they had a Shearers strike. And I, I, I took, I put that one in because he's in focus and the background's blurred. Aha, uh -huh. right. Very good. I didn't put him in for his looks. <laughs> and this is a tree of knowledge where it is, the original tree was over 100 years old and people used to sit under it uh, sharing knowledge about various things. And then in about 2007, somebody poisoned the tree and oh. we think it was probably a political statement because the uh, labour movement in Australia started sort of near here. And so they've sculptured it, and the the roof of that place is shearers' blades uh, for sheep. Oh, mm. very good. And this is one of the big areas of dinosaurs, and I tried to get them the other way around, looking at me, but I couldn't. I guess they've moved too quick, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is some footprints. Um, this this is, uh, shows, if you look um, here, that's a big dinosaur chasing little ones. Oh, oh I see. And they've got footprints here you've got from the big dinosaurs. Yeah. And you've got the little dinosaurs around. And we think that, well, they thought that these lines were maybe a branch of a tree that was running down um, in the water. Or being dragged by the dinosaur. Yeah. I'm going through them quickly because I've got quite a few. Um, so that was, those. that yellow is rocks, the colour, usually rocks in sort of, outback areas are red like that yeah but these are actually a yellow color mm. that's a walk we did and this is where Qantas started up oh was it yeah. very good yeah. so we've got question as well. oh this is my pride and joy of my with my iphone i hope you can see it clearly yeah it's um i took it on the night setting and played around with the night setting a bit and this was the result. Very good. Uh, I can't see the North Star, I don't know why. <laughs> because it's not there. <laughs> I can't recognise any of the constellations. 
Um, I did have one, I haven't put it in, of the Southern Cross. Right, okay, don't worry. And this one, I don't know if you do this in England, but we, <laughs> people paint the water towers here. You might not have water towers. You don't. <laughs> not that big. Well, anyway, it's become a sort of a thing that people do. They paint their water towers. And that he's got his little, little dinosaur there. Oh, yes, I see. What this? And this, <laughs> this is um, a, re a replica of uh, Huey, who was from Huey. Incidentally, see this this animal. Do you know why he didn't want to go to the party? No. Because he, did, he didn't have anybody to go with. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> and that's an egg. Is it? Chromosaurus egg. Oh. A chromosaurus. Hmm. And this is Penny. Plesiosaur. So in Richmond, uh, in Richmond they were marine uh, for, uh, dinosaur fossils, and outside everything else was animal, animal, not marine. Right. Yes. Right. And that's another one. Chronosaurus corner. Chronosaurus corner. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's. And this is uh, a walk we did down to a gorge. That's the pyramid. So it is, yeah. That's the porcupine gorge from the lookout. It's got water in it. <laughs> so that that's where I've been and what I've been up to. But I did actually take 506 photos. <laughs> well, that's that's good. Good. Very interesting. Yeah, good. Right. Well, it was really interesting because I, I I've got a background in geology and um, I've never really done paleontology and that was sort of quite interesting for me. Right. Okay. All right. Shall I move on to a new topic? Unless anyone else got anything Please. to show us. Well, you want your thing back, don't you? I'll just disconnect um, Terry's thing. If I can do that. Doing something in my corner here. Hold on. I didn't tell you a thing. Don't do it. Not, no. <laughs> Just take it out. Do it later. Just take it. Thank you. Right. I've done any problems. Just take it out. Um, yes. The next thing is. Um, oh, there's this tools. There's back to tools. Right. What I want to do now is go to another category that I decided upon. Some mad, mad reason up here somewhere. Lot to, oh, here we go. So um, I decided that uh, well, I'll start off with this one. This was a, a guy called Joseph Parry, whom I found on the internet, who had these photographs that he folded in these different ways, you see. And I thought, ah, oh, that's interesting. Well, these are all portraits. But uh, You're not screen sharing, Peter. Oh, well, I always forget something, don't I? Where has it gone? Where are we? Where was it now? That was there. Right, we got that now. Well, the ducks, I'm not sure. They're not ducks. Hold on, I'm just trying to get it to work there. You should have it now. Yes, we got that. Right, three portraits mm. on paper prints that have been cut and folded. You can see on here that it's cut, or just about cut uh, across through the nose and things like that. So they, it's cut them and glued them in a different format to give you a different impression. And then stuck them on little wooden shelves. I thought it was a bit. I thought it was a bit mad, but it gave me an idea that perhaps we could do the similar thing. So I, I started off with this duck photograph. I found some old. Sorry, it's out of focus. I had this unsteady hand at the time. It's all this wine, you know. Um, <laughs> that was my original photograph, and I stuck it on a piece of blue paper. I thought to stiffen it a bit, but I'm not sure I needed to do that. So anyway, I have got the wrong bit. It's not in order, is it? Oh, there's the next one. Um, so then I started bending it. I cut it along here, and I stapled it there, and I stapled it just there, so that it's then now a sort of bowl shape. Because when you pull the bits in, it doesn't stay flat. And I bent that backwards and that backwards. I'm sure that's perfectly obvious, isn't it? 
Now I might have a sideways view. Now here we are, sideways view here. As you can see what I was doing there. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure you think this is a totally mad idea, <laughs> especially because I'm expecting you to do it. So these are the tools I used, um, apart from the scissors. So you PVA glue and some uh, paintbrush to paint the glue on. <clears throat> and um, then I went on to, uh, oh, there's another one here. Uh, yes, well, I'll come back to that one. Um, so then I did this this one. Now I did it, followed it like steps. And the corner bits are uh, stuck to the yellow background. So that is a vertical picture of a place in uh, Santa Fe. And it's sepia toned. One of my old prints that I've thrown away, basically. And there's another version of that picture to show you this. You can see a little staple just there, look. And one just down here somewhere. Now, perhaps I just glued it. Maybe, oh, there's a staple down there. So I, I used a staple and so on to do that. <coughs> well, why is Richard on? Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, oh, another picture of some tools. Oh, no, this was my next idea. I took an A4 print. I cut it into strips like that. I thought that was a good idea. And then stick them together at length, but end to end. And so I ended up with a thing like this. Here it is rolled up in a box. And now it's in us in the stop sharing. Point the camera. Oops. You used to have some nice poppy ones done similarly to that, I think, Peter. So, uh, yes, you know, the camera's falling apart. <laughs> um, where are we? Let's see. Uh, I can get out of the chair. I don't know whether it's long enough, this wire. It probably isn't. Fairly long, but not. Oh, it's underneath a water wire, isn't it? Hold on while I manipulate the camera <laughs> as best I can. And I can't see what you see. Um, where are we? We're seeing the flags in your clock on the extreme right. Yeah, so you can see the uh, that dark area there. Where my finger is. Where, yeah, where Terry's finger is, that's the picture. So the picture now stretches from up the top of the stairs there, all the way across here, through to the uh, window over here. Am I pointing at the window? Yeah, roughly. Yes. <laughs> If I disconnect it, we can probably show you a bit more like the problem. Well, you saw the picture of the hole. Unless I just glued them together. It didn't work when I just glued them. I found I had to um I found I had to uh, uh staple them each of those sections together. But apart from that, I thought that was an interesting concept. So what I want you to do is get some old photographic prints. And I've got a pile in the in the in my dining room over here. Uh, so in there on the table, there's, there's piles of prints and the, the glue and, and the guillotine and all sorts of things. So um, when we've finished, I'm going to get this team here to go in there and start manipulating prints, have a practice on some of the old prints I've got. They come back from the 1990s, these prints. So they're not being used, so they might as well be used for something something like this to practice on. Uh, what was so it's what I was going to say. Definitely. So get some old prints and uh, manipulate them. Now let me get an old print. Let's do it. Ah yes, Leomani. There's an old print of. A place called Leia Marnie Tower in Essex. I'm sure you don't know it, but uh, it's a very nice Elizabethan building. And I did that. Well, I've got the date on the back. And it's sepia toned. Seems a shame to tear it to bits, doesn't it? Really? It's perfectly good print. Mm. <laughs> so, what I was doing was cutting it, cutting it like across there. Or, or you can just try, if you try, um, Doing doing that was when you can eventually curl it. One other thing they did that you could do is cut it into thick strips and then join them together and twist them and hang them between two posts. I'm sure you want to do that. It's the sort of thing you all want to do. I see Elaine looking a bit <laughs> quizzical there. 
Why would I want to do that, Peter? It's art, <laughs> Stuart, Stan. I know you don't know about art, but it's art. Talking of art, I've got uh, um, six prints in an art show this coming week or so. At, and it's displayed in the local church here. And uh, I also managed to get six of Sheila's prints in there as well. And they're all up in the, uh, uh, not the nave, the next bit along, what's it called? The sanctuary. No, the choir, I guess. Next to the choir. And by the does that run from, Peter? It runs from tomorrow to the 18th of September. And I'm, I'm stewarding on Sunday. Um, and uh, what have we got? Oh, yes. He couldn't get to, uh, couldn't get our new Philip in. <laughs> so the church down the road from you, Peter. Yes, that's right. Yes, I'm using the old camera club um, screens. To oh no, yes I am. Yes I am. Why uh, not? Uh, and it it looks all right. So oh, I've got a photograph of that coming with me. I can show you. If I can just find the right bit. In fact, it's just here. <laughs> um, so that's a display of, well, actually it's not one before I finished it. So Sheila's prints are over on the, this one, this one. You be sharing, I think, Peter. Oh, not again. I always forget to do it. So that's here, share, and everywhere. Are you sharing now? Yes, but not the right thing. Okay, well now it is. That, that is. So that's one of Sheila's prints that she quite liked. It's a small square one. This was called Twist and Stone. It was in the in the uh, close at some point, and she had this this one with a fox just there that she put in, and she took this one in Wales somewhere. And this one is not Stonehenge; it's a Callanish stones, and it's a monochrome print. Um, so that was that. And then I put in this one, which was Print of the Year for the Camera Club last year. This one, which was once used by the Southern Federation as their poster print, they just put text all over here. Uh, and uh, that's one of my favourite ones of these birch trees in Scotland somewhere. And this one I took in 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 Q. Hmm? I like that. Yes, well, it's a simple enough picture. So that was um, so that was what we did there. Now stop sharing. So. Um, what was I saying? Yes. Now I want you to think of other ideas. So you need to take notes, really. So you can hold your print together with glue uh, or staples. Or what I did was using cocktail sticks. Did I show you those? I probably didn't, did I? Yeah. Where's the cocktail stick yeah. one? Okay, I've just got to find a picture first. Well, uh, I haven't got the. I haven't got a picture of that. Ah, so I'm not a dumb to share. Because I'm not, the fantastic one must be over there. Come get it. This is a picture taken in Australia a while ago, back in the 90s. Ah, let me show you this. I'm sure you'll be thrilled by it. They are a picture of some trees, a place called Granite Gorge in Queensland. And um, then I used, if you look on the back, you can see all the staples that I've used. Uh, sorry, the cocktail sticks. And that was printed in 1997. So as a, as a, I used, used to write the date on when I processed things. Uh, and it was on sterling paper and it caught, took 60 seconds of exposure because I was using a process that um, called. What was it called? Oh, I've forgotten that. Um, you can't see the cocktail sticks on the good side of the picture. Oh, you can actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, we can now. We couldn't before. It was too small. The point about cocktail sticks is they've got a bit of friction on the wood, and as a result, they they bend the paper when you when you put them through like that. Yes, I see. You have to be careful not to stab your hand. <laughs> That's the, the only problem. So this is fairly fairly stiff paper, but it's now no longer flat. So yeah. that would be an interesting thing to try. It's up to you to whatever you try to do it. Think of some new ways of doing it. Uh, the one other idea I had was this idea here, 
Let me open it up. Oops, get it in the right angle. This is a bit of paper folding. How about that? You can see it's three dimension. So, and I, I took that idea and extended it and produced this print here. It's bigger and better and colored as well. And here we have the, oops, uh, uh, what's it, um, a tulip tree leaf. And if you look, it's, it's, it's fractal, and fractal, it's, it's fractal, if you like, in that there are more, smaller and smaller versions of it. Can you see that? A completely dead silence. <laughs> Come on. Yes, no. Yes, we can see it. But there's, there's little tiny ones here. There's little tiny uh, versions of the same thing. But what I did was to print the big picture and a smaller version on top and another one on top of that. And then each of them has been carefully cut and folded to produce this oops, this uh, extraordinary <laughs> thing, which will fold up when I collapse it, it just folds up. The flat thing like that. Ideal for club competition. <laughs> sort of thing that takes more than five minutes to produce. Wild artistic art. What? Wild artistic art. Is it? That's not quite what I call wild artistic art, but anyway. No. <laughs> So are you any good at um, cutting paper and folding things? Not really. Are you going to get used to it? Maybe. Come on, Elaine, I want you to have a go. Looking, shaking your head. I don't expect Stan to have a go. It's far too difficult for Stan. Yeah. It's not straightforward photograph. Don't be so insulting, Peter. <laughs> Sorry, Stan. I do like teasing you, don't I? <laughs> Well, you you wouldn't want me to say what I really think about this, would you? <laughs> yeah, we really like to know what it was, Stan. <laughs> you take you the spill all, spill all. Come on, we're broad-minded over here. <laughs> He's staying mute. He's living in Oakham or thereabouts. No, that's right. Uh, in which is in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> Rutland. Rutlandshire, yes. Oh, yes, Oakham. Um, sorry? Yeah, Oakham, why not? Yeah, yeah right. Um, what was I? Yes. So uh, one of the other things I haven't done uh, is to cut the print for, beforehand. So if you've got a, a rectangular print, why does it have to be rectangular? Try cutting it into a circle or a round or a twist or something. Um, and then um, do the same sort of thing like that. Then I, the other thing I think you could try is to paint on the prints. So I've got some, uh, uh, you know, it's not. Painting on prints, you just get a paintbrush and paint. <laughs> Do that with, with photographic prints all the time. Um, in fact, I used to varnish them uh, with the sort of varnish that crackles, crackler type finishes. That uh, gives you a different uh, look for mo and most other prints around. But these are all physical prints. You can't really put it on on on, uh, on display on digitally, but so there you are. Those are my ideas for your next homework. I see you're all cheering and eager to go. <laughs> it's going to but be. It is different. Exactly. Yes, I tried to find something different. You see, and this mad idea came into my mind, and I thought, yeah, that's it. That'll do. That'll do for my new this practical photography group. And here you are. Okay. It's very practical, and I'm not so sure it's very photography. <laughs> well, you've got a photograph to start with, and you're producing art. You see, it's not. It's not. Ah, you... yeah, that's that's the thing. It's art. Print. Yes. You, 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 what are you doing? You're showing it to people. And uh, I'm not promising. Well, <laughs> those of us with the right touch. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's it. You've got the better touch. <laughs> To get so displaying, Peter, I think is the word for it. Well, if you, yes, if you display prints, um, it's all very well putting record shots up, as Diana said, but uh, or straightforward prints, but they're not necessarily artistic. And they were very beautifully presented in a very lovely PowerPoint, and I appreciated it. Well, Thank you. 
PowerPoint was that? <laughs> Actually, I would have loved to seen the pictures that you're showing in the in your art show in bigger on full screen because they were some lovely images. I'm bound to have them somewhere. Yes, no, no, I don't need to do it now, but I'm just saying I appreciate. I, I thought that was lovely to see those pictures. Yes, right. Can well, I can I take you back though to to where you began this the the art uh, the artist's portraits that he'd done in put them on three shelves. Um, did he take those photographs so that precisely he could display them like that? They're, they're my photographs. That's what you, these ones, these ones here, Eamon? No, no, Oh, that one, sorry, oh, him, yes. That was a chap called, as I said, Joseph Parra. I don't know, I can't see who I'm talking about, can So I? did he, the question I'm asking you is, did he take those photos as part of his method mm -hmm. with this kind of thing in mind? Because that's that's actually quite important because it's it's not just randomly selecting any any photo and 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 manipulating it in this way in the 3D. It's it's actually part of his design and his thinking that, yeah. that he he may have taken the photos with a view to presenting them like this. Yes, that's true. And that's he may have experimented 50 times to produce that. He may have probably did, yes. I mean, I don't know. I don't but, know uh, his work at all. No, I've got his um, I've opened his website somewhere somewhere on here is Yes, yes. But it makes it more of a photographic project if 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 that's what he was about. I'm just trying to get to new share and the thing's getting on top of it. Go away. New share. Right. Um a bit weird. That's I mean, what am I trying to get to? I'm trying to get back to I think my that's the folder name. name. Uh, yes, I think it should be. Well, that's just that, isn't it? Yes. Um where are we on false? Well, another one full screen, that's all right. Right, and what I was trying to do is get to another screen. <clears throat> so too many things. Uh, what was I trying to get to? Yes, the uh, that one, yes. Uh, just try and share again with the share, come on, share. Should be that one, yes. But you should see my screen now, yes. I don't want that, do we? Um, where, did, where did he get to, was it that one? And that's the fox and goose. We could go there. Um, <laughs> um, what's that? That's uh, oh, that's my uh, yes. If you want to look at them, Diana, you go to this site and then work your way through to um, along here to practical photography. That will give you all of the the ones that I've had before. Mm -hmm. Last time was this one. This is what you want. And in fact, if I click on that. This will probably start, but if I um, um that was a that was a started in the middle somewhere, but I can get the uh where is it? I can get this the link. Why can't I see it? But you can get the link from here. Ah is it here? Oh I can't remember what it is. Anyway, you can get to it from that. Um that wasn't what I was trying to show you, was it? Can just the one? Yeah, oh, it might be from that. Yes, it was from that page. So this may be the one. Now, this may be the page. Oh, there it is. There it is there. Yeah. It's the same same lot there. But then I went under his site, which is here. And that starts at the top. So he has paintings, prints, which I haven't even looked at the paintings part. So he has that. <laughs> um, then he has drawings like that. Yeah, so he's doing a lot of this. And then he does prints, which is what I was interested in. So he's what he has got uh, here, what he called a braided print, which I call plaited. So somehow he's done that. It's too big to fit on the screen here. Yeah. And he's done that one, which is even more complicated. Yeah. And it says underneath, uh, print cut into strips and hand woven using traditional caning technique. It's like the cane bottom of a chair. Uh, and then it's enameled paper and wood. <laughs> and that one I don't understand. It says, um, uh, archival inkjet print of a continuous handheld scan of images under a screen displayed on a wooden platform. Don't understand. It's just completely baffling. And that one's very similar. He's, he's doing a scan of whatever it is and moving, the, moving at the same time. 
hand, continuous handheld, he says. And here's the spiral on between two sticks. So you can see, you can put it in an art gallery, then you see your, your work. Um, and there's another one, which is rather horrible, <laughs> with an eye sticking out here, another braided one, or plaited. And here's the cane seat arrangement again. And that one says um, something about traditional cane, uh, enamel, polyurethane, resin, and wood, 20 by 16. So and there's one of these. And I looked at that, you can see the tear on there now quite easily. Um, then he did ones with holes, not quite sure what that does. I think it lifts one half of it up. So there's also, I didn't think much of that. Um, it, it looks like that close up, <laughs> which I didn't see the point of that one. And there's this long photograph of his. That was a, that's what I did hanging up there, but I didn't do it in a straight line because it was too long. I was astounded at how long it was. So I didn't do the strips wide enough. So it'd get a, a shorter one if I did it properly. So there we did all these weird <laughs> things. There's another one. That's done. So that's uh, a bit of Joseph Parry, Parry, mm. or his para, mm. his work. So thought you might like to have a look at that. So stop sharing. So I know it's all a bit weird, but life in the art world is a bit weird, Stan. Uh, Peter, let me say to you, yes, on my computer, I've got a folder and I call it an art folder. I have got a dozen or more famous artists' paintings, which I look at them regularly. I love art. I like proper art. I mean, there was a brick laid in an exhibition once, and that was called art. That's yeah. the sort of art I don't appreciate. Right. OK, Stan, I understand. It's all every art is... And anybody can put a brick on the floor. Yes, but but not everyone can produce produce um, something like that, can they? Not everyone can do that, and that could be called. Everybody art. want to do that. Well, no, but <laughs> I don't think that's the point, Stan. Is it? Point yes, is, it is. is it art? Is it art? Is it? Is it worth calling art? Why would you want to take photographs? It's the same issue, really. No, it's not. Yes, it is exactly the same. No. Why would you want to take a photograph? It's no different. It's all art. <laughs> yes, different forms of art. And that looks a bit of art here. Look, looks well, uh, like a canaletto to me. <laughs> it is, that's and that's so what I did same. yesterday. I went to the Canaletto Museum in London. Oh, oh, wonderful! I thought it was a tin tray you were showing us. Well, it, yeah, it could be a chocolate box, couldn't it? And then after that, we went to see the Munch exhibition, mm. and that's real art. They are stand real art. <laughs> Both of them are art. Well, I'm on Stan's side. <laughs> well, I'm on Stan's side. Let me let me ask you then, gentlemen and ladies, putting a brick on the floor in an exhibition, do you call that art? Well, I must admit, having Richard, been to the Royal Academy, the Royal uh, Academy really, summer show. Probably is, not. But then there's a lot of art. Extraordinary. Been in the various places, which are just as ridiculous. Uh, I can't think of the person who used to do it. It used to be like a, a bean can with a person in it. I mean, is that art as well? You know, it, it is, but it's not my sort of art. Well, no. I think that's the point. It's not your sort of art. No. Okay. Well, we'll we we'll agree that art is variable, shall we say? <laughs> yeah. According to your your likes and dislikes, I quite agree. That's exactly how it should be. We're not all the same. So anyway, but I would like you to produce some art, if you can, for next time, in the form of a physical print, uh, which you'll have to photograph somehow or bring it to me here, and we can have a look at it here. How, how does that sound to you all? Well, whether, whatever you think, I'm guessing that's what the homework's going to be. <laughs> okay. When is the next date? Oh, now she's asking me. Um, yeah. Um, uh, at this moment, I saw 30th, Peter. Oh, yes, yeah, 30th of September. I shan't okay. be here for that one. I should be out joining Diana. Oh, good. So you're going to send me your details so like, we can meet up? I will try and do so. Have you got my email address? Uh, oh, Peter's no, I don't got think it. I have. Peter. No, I don't. I'll ask Peter for it. Peter will have it. Yeah. 
Oh, I have indeed, yes. So right. I'll, I'll come and see you in Sydney, shall I? Yeah, if you like. Just like that. I don't know what we're doing exactly. Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. <laughs> I dare say we'll wander down the rock on a fair few evenings, yeah. if it's true snow. Yeah. I like the pancake shop down there, you see. <laughs> I can have my pancakes and ice cream and maple syrup. Don't know how much of that is it's Australian, but that's another story. Enough, enough, sir, uh, Richard. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Till later. Right, I think, I think I've think i done my bit, unless there's anything else you want to talk about. I, I took a... I, I bought a, a um, opal, a rock, in Eramanga, where I was a few weeks ago. And the person that... Um, she took a photo of my opal and yep. produced it as a paint as a picture on a sort of a acrylic type board as a painting. And the two together just go so well. The, the opal rock and the the actual photo that she took of it and produced it as a piece of artwork. Mm. And then because you're talking about art, I thought I'd bring it up. Well, my mouse mat I've got down here is is my, my call art as well. It's a, one I've had for a little while. A, a photograph I took somewhere in Scotland um, of these, and it's all, all flexible in the 3D. Oops. And I've been using it for quite a long time. So it depends what you call art, doesn't it? I mean, it is, is a mouse mat art. Mm. Oops, get it right. Is that art? I ask. No answer, of course. There is no that. <laughs> right. OK, well, I'm going to say goodbye. I think we've had uh, a go. We're going to have coffees and uh, a drink, and then I'm going to get into work on these things over here. Um, and then you see if you can dig out some old prints from somewhere, Richard and Elaine. <laughs> Do but, they have to be old? Why, why do they have to be old? No, no, no. I was going to so you're going to ruin them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you've you got to remove it. Well, no, and you're going to improve them. <laughs> I, I was just going to print something off more recent. Yes, yes. So, uh, before you cut them off, can I ask Elaine? Elaine, I'm right. going to the Silly Isles for the very first time at the end of the month. So I'm going to be missing next week, next month. Have you got any tips about where to go? I'll go everywhere. I mean, the, 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 the ferries are very easy and you just yeah. jump on a ferry and go to the off islands. Are you staying on St. Mary's? Yes. Yeah, just, just every day, go in a different direction and explore one of the other islands. And, it, and by the book, on the ferry, there's a book of walks. Oh, which, right. Um, We're actually going on the aeroplane. Well, which looks like that. Yeah. So buy that book of walks on the ferry. Right. And it's got it's got all the walks for all the islands oh. and what to do and what to see. Okay. And you can spend a different day on each of the islands. Okay, fine. Have you how long have you got? I think it's 10 days. Oh, you'll be able to do the whole lot twice. <laughs> <laughs> and see if you can, um, there's a chap who does a bird watching boat that goes out west and keeps going beyond Bishop Rock. Okay. And it's full of birders. You will need your 400 millimeter lens. Yeah. But they go out and I'm we I wasn't awfully the sure because they put out they put out bait. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but they have lots of Fulmers and Wilson's petrol and Eastern petrols and Eurasian petrols. Right. And lots of birds all around the boat. Okay. It's an evening. Fine. We, we've got a, 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 a it's an organised guided bird watching tour. So oh well, you're probably going to do it with Don. I do that. Yeah. He's only got one arm. He's very noticeable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, he manages to do his his binoculars with with his good arm. It's his he, and he's very knowledgeable. Yeah. But if it's Don and the boatman, um, you go down to the ferry, um, the the quay. Yeah. And they have a card, they have a, a blackboard with all the all the trips that day. Okay. And just and if you buy well, if it's got organized, you need ferry, you need cash. 
right if you if you're if you're if you're doing an independent thing they only take cash for the ferry boatman okay. to, to get you there and back again you never use cash anymore no but you, you have to have cash, cash there um uh or if you go to the tourist office they will take um a card right but make sure you've got lots of cash on you because the cash cart the cash machine in the wall right. ran out yeah mm -hmm. okay I'll remember that. That's no problem. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. To take Thank you. Silly island pound with you. And you may, you may or may not be into this sort of thing, but you also want to go to St Martin's and get on the um, seal snorkeling tour, <laughs> and and then you will get your seals, and um, you'll have a very lovely time underwater uh -huh. with your seals, which of course now I can't quickly find the photos of. Um, I can only remember one thing about the Silly Isles. I was travelling there on the Silconia, which was like a bathtub. Well, it's the Silla, it's the Silonian Three now, which is a very large, big ship, and thankfully it um it doesn't rock a lot. I'm glad about that because I was I got over there and I was so sick that I didn't actually do anything while I was there. <laughs> Complete waste of time. <laughs> oh, very oh, nice. <laughs> Oh. Look from underneath, very yeah. good. My nephew said, oh, he's asking for a hug. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the seal snorkeling trip. Right. Excellent. You may, may not do that. <laughs> oh, you should. <laughs> you get dressed up in the most flattering six millimeter wetsuits. <laughs> I, um, Elaine. Anyway, I hope you stopped recording. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, Elaine, that Nigel hasn't got a, a, a waterproof camera box for his camera. Well, just go and buy a simple point and press underwater. Actually, that was my brand new Olympus Tough. But there. Which I was very pleased Those photographs I'd like to see. Say again, Stan? I say those photographs I would like to see. Well, that's that's possibly why I may not be doing much paper folding and sticking because I've got about two thousand photos to go through over the summer. <laughs> yeah, some people do overdo it, don't they? <laughs> yeah, I've got one thousand from Iceland. Mm. Yeah, it, it is that's easy, isn't it? Yeah, I went to the Hawk Conservatory Conservancy Trust. We took nearly eight hundred pictures. I'm going to get a shot of about six hundred and fifty of them. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. all these people are not used to slides, you see. If you were you taking slides, you'd be very much more um, careful with the, what, you, what you actually have clicked on. Yeah, but it's birds in flight. Yes, but you have to be even more cunning and clever, birds in flight, yes. Anyway, enough chit-chat. I think it's time to stop the recording, which I shall do now.